everybody it's jeremy welcome back to hands of fate this or is it hand it's hand of fate it's not hands of fate. hands of these mitts these mitts of fate how's it going we are i think we did uh last last episode we did a lot of grinding for tokens and we are nowhere near done on tokens but i think i think we're gonna challenge the dealer this time around so let us see how this goes, shall we? Dealer's Curse. The player receives a curse at each new dungeon level. Oof. Excommunication. The player cannot receive any more blessings. Ouch. There have been dealers before, but none so adept at the game as him. All right, fucking me. Hey. I offer no mercy. Decks have been updated. Take a look at what we got. Probably do not need all of that stuff. I'm gonna still take new things, why not? I really like mage gloves, honestly. Well, that's not gonna do anything because we don't have the survival's okay. Ring of Pro poverty. That's actually potentially good. Holy ring. Whatever a mercenary contract that's uh, need all of this stuff. Really care about that. Probably don't care about that. Probably don't care about that. Probably don't care about that. I kind of want a billion helmets now because I need so many helmets to, to finish that quest with the guys. Okay. And actually, um, I think, again, as we did when we were kind of doing progression, I think I'm going to leave the dealers, the deck, the default deck, alone. This has probably got more... Uh, simple stuff. You face me. The rules change yet again. Of course they do, dealer. Now this might this might go very poorly. Ooh, actually a little little chilly. I turned the air on, and immediately, as soon as I turned the air on, of course, Another I am cold. Let us oh. see how you deal with it. Money bags. In combat, the player's movement speed is reduced by how much gold they possess. Really? <laughs> wow. All right, then. You are so close to victory, and I am so close to the final nothingness. I have fought against this day for so long. Or the player. Okay, so. Yeah, we can't have blessing. Heroes remains. Okay. Uh, take the belongings. Sure. Little pleases me more than watching your attempt to wriggle away from bad luck. Treasure chest, okay. Could be good. Could be very good to start with. Very low chance. Wow. Yes. Okay. Okay. Attempt to pry it open. Ow. 
Yes. Nice job, Odi boys. Odi boys. Okay. Okay, Odi boy. Four gain cards. That is setting a nice tone. Start of this. Ooh. We've got Mage's Mask. Hits on the player have a 20% chance of creating... Create may be used against them. Norma shield. Armor level is increased Protection and it's is knock enemies down. More is not always better. Or Thunderstrike. Every strike Created inflicts lightning damage. of the south and brought to fame in song. Actually really like the idea of using Thunderstrike. Are you sure that's the right approach? <laughs> and then we get the skeleton's king sword. I think I think still honestly I'm I'm going to stick with uh thunderstrike. Uh feathered ice or the plunderer's ring. I think plunderer's ring. With every gain card you get plus 1 gold and plus 2 health. Return the sword. Return the shield. Thirty gold. Traveling Tinker. Starting off okay. My item scorching skill. We've got Assassin's Greed. Which would probably be pretty good to go ahead and get. Shield breakers, all right. Wilderness armor gives a speed and damage buff until the player is hit. But we already have mithril armor. I think we take assassin's greed. Assassination is such an unfair way to encourage people through death's doorway. I'm sure you are grateful for that. It seems okay. Seems like a nice, balanced start to the scenario. All right. Mwah. Fingers crossed that we have we continue to have good luck like that. All right, very linear at least. The deeper you go, the harder things become. Shop to start this off can with. Only end one way. All right, let's see what they have. Oh, three mages. That's what they have. Nice. I remember mages are like super weak to lightning, right? Nice that trap kill yeah, I'm pretty sure mages are super weak to lightning you search the bodies find nothing okay uh, wilderness armor ring of survival Bad. in a sense Cooldowns are reduced by 25% and encounters are randomly revealed on each new map. That could be pretty nice. That could be worth 27 gold. And then Mage's Scorn, cooldown are reduced by 10%, but damage is also reduced. Okay, with Innocence. Innocence. Easily lost. Never regained. Precious beyond measure. I'm going to hold on to the Skeleton King Sword on the off chance that we somehow get really lucky and get both the Skeleton King's uh, shield and helmet as well. Because I know there's an achievement for uh, having all of them. Yeah, Thunderstrike does seem to be very strong. I, well, yeah, it's got like 35 damage compared to you know, something like the Skeleton King's Sword who has 30. But yeah, very good point. It eats it slaps. Um, asking me is troubles. Absolutely. Lack the strength. Make the jackals pay. Sure. 
Maiden. Nice. Ooh. Um, probably just ask for supplies. Five food. Three food. Not having to worry about um, food is going to be pretty good. Try to get rid of some stuff, but no. I think we're fine, as is. We got a, a lot of food. We got some good gear. Got some money-making items. Ember Town Hero. Nah. Nope. We will smash them. Two of dust. Weak. Innocence is a pretty cool looking shield. Uh, Ring of Poverty? Every dying man would trade wealth for health. Could potentially be good. Folded steel. We move and attack faster for a short duration. We'll go for the Ring of Poverty. An age ago, I swore a vow of See poverty, but this ring promises something quite different. Devil's Carnival. Again, Have a, a token. Is chance to get get through this again. Let's get that huge success, shall we? Let's go for the success, because we know we saw that one. Okay. Good success and failure again. This one? Fuck! Ah, uh, okay, so you're selected from the crowd to be tied to a wheel. The wheel begins to spin, and a blindfolded man dressed in black proceeds to throw knives at the wheel. Evidently, he needs more practice. Ouch. How unpleasant. Unfortunate. That one, that one and the desert one are like the the ones we're never gonna get. Caves and caverns. One cannot hope to find adventure without a little delving now. In combat, everyone moves 20% faster and receives 50% more damage. That's extremely dangerous. Nice. Okay, so if we just want progression, um, it's forced escape. It has finally come to this. I am tired. It has been too long. Yet life, life will not let the candle be snuffed. I want to know what life. Yeah, it is a damage boost. You're right. Yet, I will not. It could just, you know, also slap the shit out of me. <laughs> oh, fuck. Alright, so we don't have the metal. Huh. I'm, I'm, I'm conflicted between just going... Here's the thing, like, uh, we've got a, we've got a bunch of good gear. So, there, I'm not really hunting for anything. I might as well just progress. Ah, golem hunting, but something's hunting me. Attack. A choice. Select your desire. All right. Don't get fucked by the golem.
Jay! Damn. Dealing, dealing a whopping amount of damage. The king is one of the players in our great mystery. Yet here he lies. Sneak away. Honestly. <laughs> Did it work? Now long past. Jay! Ooh, get a game card. Nice. All right. Oracle, another golem hunting party. I could go do the golem hunting party in order to try to like knock things out. Press on. Let's go do the golem hunting party. This is kind of silly of me, but uh, decline the offer. I just want to do the golem hunting party because if we get the third, this will be the number two. If we get the third one, then we can get them out of our freaking deck going forward, which would be nice. Plus, you know, we'll get the token. Get the token, get the token, get the token. Nice. That extra damage boost. Man. On top of already having an extremely high damage weapon. Feels pretty good. Um, okay. So we just want to head back the way we came now. We will check the shop this time. Ooh, ambush. Mages! All right, y'all already saw what happened last time. Y'all about to get slapped. Get out of here. Thanks for the bit, Woods. Uh, okay, so now now we can actually shop. Um, I'm not sure what we're gonna what we would even want to buy necessarily. Again, I think we're pretty well outfitted. Each gloves. Uh, Inferno potion could actually be pretty good. To pick up. Or time heals could be pretty good, actually. We'll pick up time heals. If things are going bad, right hands. then that will allow us to basically reset our health. Uh, we're also going to buy some food because I have no idea how long this run with the dealer is. I, I'm expecting the dealer's run to be very long. So. And we're only on like the third stage. I would assume it to be like five or six stages. Work your way through the woods and see what lies beyond. Whenever a weapon ability is used, the player consumes one food. Okay. Got some. And now. Okay. It would be so easy to create a game that merely defeats you. A game in which you stand no chance. Also completely unfair. That is not how I work. I refuse to play in such a manner. That is very. Is fair. And you will be defeated fairly. Ooh. Talking that mad shit. Probably not super worried about any of these. Buy food? Any good food deals? No. 
really care about any of them. Might buy food at the next place. So we've got the charity six. And I might just Perhaps you should have taught this man to fish, eh? Thirty or more food. Um well I feel like it, I feel like we're gonna do I feel like we just do the one food. Because we're not we don't have the thirty, so we're not gonna succeed there. Um, give him 20 gold. Yeah. Imagination and illusion. That's what I needed, Mr. Lionel. Without weight and doifa, doifa. Yet One night you awaken to find yourself enclosed in a maze of traps. Everything seems strangely familiar, like a nightmare from your childhood. Thank you for the bits, the tears. It is appreciated. Fill the cup. Yay. A disembodied voice calls out, seemingly from the sky. I've often wondered, does one control one's dreams, or does the dream control you? If it is the latter, then does it mean that when we sleep, when we are at our most unguarded, we are at the mercy of our own mind? The voice laughs and laughs, the sound receding away until the text leaves me. Holy, this is not going to be fun, is it? All right, then. Yo, look at them snowmans. Oh, wait, are those like snow corns? Wait, did he just snort his own nose in and then shoot it out of his forehead? Because that's fucking cute. Honestly. Like, that's really fucking cute. Uh, we're actually going to head down here. Um, see if we can't buy some food or something. I feel like food is probably the route that we're going to need to go for over most things today. Mask of Extortion. Increased attack damage based on inverse of player's goal. Food options. All right, I feel I feel okay with thirty food. Thirty food's gonna last us one. I do want to check this bottom corner. Fucking maze of traps, of course. Maze of traps is at least the choice one. Uh, this one is I have no choice. Blood auction two. Um, stay away. Probably gonna skip. I need to risk fucking what traps more you shit like this.
Nice. Okay. I was kind of holding my breath through that whole fucking thing. God damn. You have the you have the chance of taking a whole lot of damage in the loan. Uh, give him twenty gold, sure. After ten steps, look upon you draw three cards. Twisted Canyon. Uh, sure, I will. Ooh, probably should not have done that. Nice. Shield Breaker. I'm not gonna equip it, but. We are actually gonna do that golem hunting party. One more step down. Back. And we may see the end of this or another set of stairs. Alright. Golem hunting party will be come well, as long as I don't like die. But golem hunting party will be completed after this, which means we no longer have that locked into our deck, which is cool. And we'll have the next stage of whatever I'm assuming that journey is. All that damage is. Hell yeah. Noise. Having dispatched a third group of the rock creatures, the regular surface raids against the humans cease. At the next village you visit, the people come out and greet you warmly. Some gold and some food. Very nice. Fucking awesome. Descend ever deeper into the subterranean pit. When a player More is struck in combat, they I drop some gold. My array of curses. Fucking hey. You close on your final foe. Soon we will meet. Is it is the time is. now? Know that I have enjoyed the game. Approach the shop. Ugh. That sack of coins you carry looks awfully heavy, friend. Who are we fighting? Some dusty boys? Some dusty boys? Get out of here with that. Dusty boys. Got me. Got me with a bomb. That's the only thing they hit me with. I was pretty sure I was outside of the bombs AoE, but whatever. I'll deal. Ring of Engorging. So, if... I mean, if this is the final guy, we could sell the Ring of Poverty and try to get a bunch of health. Sell the Shield Breaker, sell the Skeleton King Sword, sell the Ring of Poverty. I've never seen a stage like this. I've never seen a stage that only had three spots in it. So I'm kind of thinking that, especially with his, you know, what the, the phrasing that he's been using, that this is probably the end of it. So. Hundred and thirty health. Oh well I guess that doesn't do anything. Uh might have just done that for no reason. But uh don't worry, I've got a plan. Just cheap it this way. Watch this just be another exit. I'm gonna waste all this food. 
I'm going to have used all of my gold. This is the master plot. All right, let's just go. Is it? Now is it? We fight. I had hoped it would not come to this, but I knew it must. I could have built this trap to be flawless, yet I included the seeds of my own demise. I must. You must. This is the way the world turns. Without change, there is only stagnation. The final confrontation with the dealer. Undoubtedly the toughest test you have ever faced. There have been dealers before, and so adept as the, at the game as him. Alright, dealer. Oh, he... Our final confrontation begins. I will not fall as easily as the other opponents you have faced. Okay. The rulers of the court of dust can turn once more. The microcosm reflects the macrocosm. Holy shit, this is intense. Okay, she just keeps swinging. She's a pain in the ass. Get off me, lady. Oh, he, he big mad. He big mad. This is fucking cool as shit already. Artifact unused. Perhaps that might have saved you. You will never face me. Okay. O okay. I have I have issue with that. Uh, uh, we're gonna we're gonna go through this. Returning back the golem hunting parties, you received this card. Twenty five gold. Uh, draw three armory, which is dope. Hags wraps and summoned. Died. Okay, yeah, died to a quick time event. This is the problem that I have with that. There hasn't been a single quick time event in this entire game, and then all of a sudden in the final fight, it's like, here, do this quick time event or in insta die, and I'm just that. Is that's a little like annoying that's kind of like mm, you know that's kind of lame it's not a big deal because now I know it's coming Again, and it's just like a cheeky Again, you are whatever but to sneak in something like that the first time on the last fight is kind of like all right what what ifs what ifs compassion you would be best to test me uh, we will just use base. It'll be fine. And start. Infected rings. Oh, Ugh. One this one, actually. That one's unfortunate. Because you start off with, like, three rings. So that's, like, 15 damage at the start of every new set. I was left these simple pieces. 
and from them I have built a palace of memories. A Guardian Angel, on your first, after your first chance card pick, may return the card and draw again after shuffling. Really? Well, can't have it, so. That sounds like that might be the best blessing in the game. And I get it on the time when you can't get blessings. Cool. Um, I guess we just head to the jeweler and check. Oh. Starting off with mages. Gotcha. Approach the shop. See what he has. Mercenaries contract, feather dice, consuming shame. Super interested in any of this. Yeah, we'll actually just progress. A horse is a fine companion. At least dying to quick time sure events is still better than being the mage dying to the rape trap every time. <laughs> That's that is very true. Even in the animal kingdom. All right, hungry blades. So don't use weapon abilities. Gotcha. You're all nearly pieces upon the board. Just Certain took twenty damage off of rings. Does the rook understand the oblivion that engulfs it when it is placed back in the box? Does the king understand that he truly rules over the king king is pretty good. Go ahead and take As that. As is you. Nice. Oracle. Okay. The old gods. I trust them even less than the new gods. You pass by an ominous mountain peak rumored to be the home of an oracle of the old gods. The path to the oracle is not long, but arduous and often dangerous. Uh, yeah, sure. Journey to visit the oracle. You set off on the thin, rocky path. You reach a point where the trail becomes little more than a thin ledge stretching off a bare cliff face. Attempt to walk across the ledge. Nice. You stone shift as you make your way across, clattering down onto the rocks below. You manage not to fall, however, and continue your journey. The oracle sits in a darkened haze of smoke and incense. An attendant waits patiently for your decision. Pay five gold to learn what the gods have planned for you. Oracle's lithe form rides silently in the darkness for some time, then whispers to the attendant. Okay. So we can see the, the next blessings and curses. All right. Interesting. Whatever. We get a get a token out of it. Traveling mage. Got this time around. We've got Hags Wraps, Hearns Antlers, Alchemical Silver, Dragon Ring. I don't think I have all the Dragon Relics, so it's pointless to get the Dragon Rings. Uh, we 
Sell our shield. Could look to buy some food, but we're actually doing okay on food right now, so... We might buy some food on our way back, because I'm assuming, as we head to the east here, I'm assuming that... Are you a cynic or a romantic? <laughs> Report him to the woman's father. Oh, wow. We got cursed for that. I worked long and hard to make that particular leap. Oh, but he does Engine. reward us. Nice. That's worth, honestly. I'm sure you're grateful for that. Oh, yeah. A whole lot of gold. Very cool. Um, yeah, we'll just leave. Nice. Okay. I say nice. We really need to find a weapon. I hope that is the curse that ends your quest. That's rude. Every card drawn from your thoughts and your memories. Every card painted by your view of the world and your single-minded purpose. The same singularity of purpose that brings you here. Hmm. Getting any really good items there. Um, hmm. I think we're okay to keep going. Secret society. If you only knew what happens behind the closed door. Down a dark alleyway in the slums of an ancient city, you find a door covered in strange markings. Knock on the door. Knock on the door, a small creature opens it and looks up at you. The house demon sniffs and then says approvingly, you have the stench of the truly accursed about you. They enter. Oh, because I've got enough curses? Nice. Inside, you discover a labyrinth of dark, smoke-filled rooms occupied by devils, demons, vampires, and all manner of ungodly creatures. You end up seated at a table with a scaled figure, risking your soul in a game of chance. Well, shit. Nicely done. You roll the bones and hope for the best. Great success. Your opponent hands you a tiny vial of liquid. Drinking it causes you to vomit uncontrollably for a few hours. Oh, <laughs> the great success is getting the token and losing half my... Holy shit! Okay, I was in mid-complaint. I was in mid-complaint. I was like, I lose... I get the token and lose half my fucking life and then I went up to 200 life. Damn. Damn. Ask him his troubles. Okay, cool. Uh, I am going to go ahead and head down to the priest real quick. Like, uh, wait. He's not going to have any items. That was point. He's going to have blessings, but we can't do anything about the blessing. We can't... We lose blessing. Ooh, what is that? Triple damage against foes who are stunned. Oh, I've seen that before. That's cool. Heal wounds. We can buy some health. I think... Um, some food might also be a good idea. Local peasants. Uh, tell her you have no food. Trading post. Uh, no. We're not gonna... One monster card. Jack of dust. Jack of dust.
Fuck. Okay, Uifa Duifa. Whew. This because late game stuff's getting me stressed. Mine. This is very good. Ooh. Reflection. I'm sure your opponents will try their luck. I'm gonna just go Rat Cleaver because it's the best weapon that we have right now. Uh, we could go Chains of Rage. Chains of Rage is actually pretty good. Sustained strikes from blows and wands have a chance to restore your cooldown. I think we just go Rat Cleaver. It's often hard to determine the provenance of an artifact, but this cleaver was clearly forged after the first invasion. Nice. A little extra help, but it is only a momentary respite. <sighs> As you plunder the secrets of your memories, You'll gain new cards. Some you'll wish you'd left untouched. Children going hungry. Sorry. If only all problems could be solved with brutality, you would be a champion. I just got the juggernaut achievement. What is that? Is possess 150 or more health. Nice. Hey, Odie boy. All right, let's do this. Cowardice cannot choose a combat encounter if there are any other choices. Oh. Seeing how you approach this particular challenge. Rough. Ghost of the sea can't really do anything. Okay, so we take more damage. Great. Go for the money option. Metal ore. Cool. Dead King's Hall. Plague and Scales. Oh, I have to sneak away. Right, because I'm a coward now. Choose from these options. Huge failure. You attempt to sneak through the shadows, but stumble into an old sword, which cuts you. Ow. Oh, 10 max health. No. A max health. I just wanted to fight. I didn't want to... I didn't want to take damage for the fight. Okay. I'm not fighting these guys very well. Oh, fuck. Okay, that's not a very clear... I forgot that that was a thing. And that's not a very... To me, that's not a very clear show of that as a skill. So those fucking fire guys have a fire shield that they put up. That right there is a fire shield. I take damage when I hit them. So I need to pay attention to that.
I actually did a lot of damage to myself. Unfortunate. Alright, well, at least I remembered halfway through the fight and didn't completely kill myself. I just kept seeing my health tick down and I was like, why am I, why am I dying? You know? So. 20 gold. 5 gold. And equipment. Nice. Draw one. Scavengers. Whenever the player gains food, they receive... Valuable resources are by now. Done. Oh, <sighs> all right, immediately into some more mages. Man, they are making me work hard for my money on this one. Like, I'm trying to avoid that stuff, but it's some, a lot of times it's like, do you want to hit the target or not? Like, doifa doifa is very particular. Like, sometimes you're, you know, because the attacking has a little bit of like a, a leash mechanic on it, so you'll kind of like magnet to your your nearest target um and sometimes that just drags you through things so a lot of times the option is just, do you want to damage them or do you want to just hold off so you don't get damaged which is kind of a pain in the ass all right what do we got we got mercenary contract we got thunder strike would be cool i think we've got huge hammer which could also be cool i think um i think both of them are superior to rat cleaver 65 gold, 50 gold. We've got plenty for... I really enjoyed Thunderstrike. It was really good. We can definitely sell the fine blade. We're definitely going to need some food. How much food do we have? Oh, a bunch of food. And then we could actually just buy um, Thunderstrike, and then we'd have... You tap tap boy. We would have a, a pretty decent setup, except for no real good armor. Uh, let's do that. I mean, our helmet's kind of whatever, but... What about actually healing? I'm sure you're grateful for that. Seems fine. Devil's traps. Dreams, myth, and mystery. Oh, and traps, of course. And traps, of course. Odysseus. Traps, of course. What the fuck? I don't really know where I'm trying to go. It's part of my problem here. Okay, you, you... I have no camera controls. He is no bueno. Okay, that way. Not a pleasant interaction. Oh, no bueno. No bueno. 
Like, nay, nay. All right. Ugh. It's months. It's monsters at every, every shop, man. Every shop we get monsters. Let's just stop going. I'm not in the AOE. That, okay. Don't have a reticle on the ground if that's not the AOE of the, the damage. You just put like a actual bomb there. Don't show me a circle if I get damaged when I'm adjacent to the circle. This is a fun game. My complaints aren't at the aimed at the game at a whole. But I've played enough of the game to where I'm starting to like nitpick certain parts of it. Like that's that's a bad design scheme. Like that conveys information to your player in a bad way. Only show reticles if if they're basically exact. What do we got? Holy Ring? That could be good. War Cry? Nah. Buy some food? No, I think we're okay. We're fine. And they didn't have anything good. So I was uh, kind of hoping for... Um, I don't know. Yeah, we're definitely just gonna... A tear between worlds. A thing... Cannot be. All right, we're back. It is. <sighs> okay. Even though your victory will end me, I cannot hold it against you. Life cannot help but fight <laughs> for life. Okay. <laughs> Again, more monsters. Doifa, doifa. I want to get hit, hit by these bombs, so I'm like being real persnickety about them. Okay, let's see what we got. We're not nearly as well set up as we were last time. Age of Scorn, Bring of Survival. I was gonna say we could sell stuff to get some particular, doesn't really matter. I'm gonna do health potions, but I'm just gonna turn around and like bounce back and forth real quick to till we get our health up. I like how the game continuously is like, here, let me highlight the next place for you to go. And I'm like, no, I don't want to go there. It's just waiting for me to slip up and press the button and uh, accidentally go early. Uh, we're going to milk this. I'm not sure that... That would be, that would kind of be a pain in the ass. Just like that. All right, it's dealer time. Again, you tilt at the windmill. You will not gain your victory this time. Uh, that might be true, I might not. I will not fall as easy as the other opponents you have faced. I think they've all been easy. Ah, bro.
fucking comboed. We kind of want Explodey Boy to get the fuck out of the way. It is not fun to deal with explosions. That lady fakes me out every time. Just so good. Okay. Oof, I was like... Oh, buddy. Thank you. No, sir. Please, no. Please, please, no. Your fate ends here. As well as you have played, I say no more. Okay, rat time. You must still resist the family of rats if you wish to challenge them. Alright, we gotta be real dodgy. Fuck. As soon as she hits me with that, I get pulled by so many... Fuck! He just... 
wrecked me. Being able to respond would be cool. Man, that's got a big ass AoE on it. Don't get too high, B. He's got a he's got like a fire shield on him or whatever. He mad? He big mad? Okay. Okay, so you can't dodge through them? That's kind of fucking ass. Fate has dealt us both an interesting hand. Let us see how it all ends. in with very low health but you must go no further i will not leave the game in the hands of one as Okay. is catching me over there repeatedly I keep like going past that and just taking damage also how's that thing not dead Why did it not latch there? Also, okay. Is there a... There's something up with that fucking totem and I don't remember what it is. 
And I can't. Like, either she can't die while the totem's up, or it, the totem can't die while she's up. I think it's... I'm gonna lose this because there's obviously what hit me okay I cannot be defeated so weakly that kind of felt like bullshit but whatever I'm sure there was just something king have the thing where everyone's unkilled is it the king oh it probably is the king man Motherfucker. See, I was thinking it was the totem was was the unkillable, and I just couldn't fucking remember which fucking thing it was. That's that's gonna crap. So we get a map draw five and we get an Oracle's diadem. Alright, well Still I think we did pretty decent considering um that was only the second time we've ever done the fight and I couldn't remember what the fuck was going on, so um, I think as long as we have a decent run of it the next time we play, then we'll probably be successful in defeating the We gained, for surviving the Dark Corridors of the Secret Society, we gained 50 health potion, 15% max, max health potion, detonator, and armor of the Watcher. Very cool. Yeah, we totally had that if I knew which one was the right person to kill. You know, it's probably on me to... That's my own bad for continuing to attack the queen and the totem far after the point where it would have been prudent, right? I should have swapped to um, one of the other two. I was trying to get licks in here or there, and I was uh, anticipating that the AoE would be hurting them. Have you learned but... Whatever. Anyways, that is going to be it for this particular episode. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Bye, everybody.